Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ONTV Kitchen, where uh, Mr. Joseph Johnson, Chef Johnson, if you will, is going to walk us through preparing a nice white chili with chicken, uh, something that could be enjoyed at the big game, your parties that you might have for viewing the big game soon. That's um, right. Certain trademarks don't allow us to say <laughs> certain things. No, I'm just kidding. Our legal team advised <laughs> us against it. Yeah. ONTV lawyers are going to be all up on us after this one. But uh, no, Joe, you've got a, uh, a recipe passed down from, what is it, your great, great, great <laughs> Grandma Johnson? What's, uh, where does this come from? It actually comes from this cookbook right here, uh, the Real Chili Cookbook. Um, I am a chili aficionado. I love chili. When I travel, I like to try chili from different areas. Some of the best chili I ever had was when I was in Arizona. Interesting. Oh, that, that made your nose run, and oh, mm. it was just so good. A little Southwest chili. Yeah. Now, I'm not a huge fan of really super spicy chili. Like, I don't want my mouth to burn. I don't want to have a glass of milk standing by. But I like flavorful chili. I like my chili to just be bursting with flavor. And that's something that, uh, that this definitely does. Now, I have a couple of different chili recipes that I enjoy making. But when I tried this chicken chili for the first time, I had some friends over, whipped up a pot, served it, and their reactions were incredible. They're like this is fantastic and I've right. had people request that I make it and bring it to potlucks and Ooh, stuff like that okay, so okay. so it is very very popular all right all right sounds good um, I don't think I've ever had white chili so this will be a first for me it's different looking forward to it if, if you're used to standard chili this might be a bit of an eye-opener for you. it's a little different but it's very very tasty all right all right, let's go over some of the ingredients here. Um, of course, it all starts with the spices. Uh, here lined up in front of me, we have uh, some chili powder, cumin. Every, every chili recipe has cumin in it. Ain't chili without cumin. <laughs> That's right. Uh, thyme, oregano, uh, some cayenne or chili uh, pepper, uh, garlic powder, one tablespoon of flour, I tried to find the smallest bag of flour I could find because I only needed a tablespoon. Just Too bad you just can't buy it by the tablespoon. <laughs> um, and so those are the main spices um, for what we're going to end up doing with those is coating the chicken with those Ooh. spices. And then uh, in addition to that, um, we got three chicken breasts we're going to cube, um, vegetable oil, which we're going to simmer everything in. Uh, as far as fresh ingredients, we have one onion, uh, we just need one celery stalk, which I went to one store today and they were sold out. No celery, so I had to go to a second store uh, to find some celery. Have you noticed that? Uh, There's random things. Shelves, uh, sure. yeah, that's weird. Like one time I tried to find some jalapenos, all gone. Really? So it's weird how things are kind of hard to find Everyone's right making now. chili. Uh, yes, yeah. Um, and then we got some chicken stock uh, broth. Um, now you have the option of using Anaheim chilies or it says you can mm. substitute with a four ounce can of green chilies. That's what we're going to do here. Uh, a table or a teaspoon of salt. Now the recipe says that you can uh, finish it off with cilantro. Mm. I am not a fan of cilantro. What are your thoughts on cilantro? Love it. I, I love it. One time I made the mistake, I made the pot and before before it was finished simmering, I threw the required amount of cilantro mm. in there, and it overpowered the entire pot of chili. Yeah, and I, I would not said put it never in. again. I'd put it yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I realized after the fact. Um, it made the, the pot see, taste soapy to me, and right. some people say that cilantro, cilantro could have a soapy taste. Mm -hmm. So I'm avoiding cilantro altogether, but you can use it as a garnish on top, sprinkle on top if that's your thing. Um, and so those are the main ingredients for this particular bowl. All right. Um, now, the recipe <coughs> recommends that you buy dry beans, soak them in water overnight. Ain't nobody got time for that. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I don't. When I'm hungry, I want to eat 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Crock pot maybe, but if yeah. I'm soaking beans overnight, right. you know what I'm saying? It's just not. So instead of dry beans, I go with these canned beans. I went with these great northern beans. 
Um, one thing you have to be careful of is <clears throat> getting the beans started too soon because one time I was making a pot, put my chili in or the beans in and started simmering them, prepared everything. And then when I, I put it in there and, and simmered it, the beans had dissolved into sort of a mush and uh, it was more like a soup than a chili. So, so I don't want, I want to try and throw everything in it together as quickly as possible, let it all cook together and then start eating it as quickly as you possible. You don't become so. the chili master without losing a few beans. Okay. <laughs> That's it's right. okay. That's all all right. right. First thing we're going to do, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you these all right. measuring spoons cool. and I'm going to read these off. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mix uh, the spices in this bowl. All right. So we need one tablespoon of chili powder. Tablespoon. That's probably the big dog, eh? The big dog. I'm going to give you that. Hope there's enough in there. I, I bought a smaller extra one just in case. Okay. You know, and if it's a heaping it's tablespoon, right I'm sure that's fine. Well, yeah, chili powder, that's a good one. I like to be a little bit liberal with uh, spices. Yeah, you know, I don't have yeah, a problem definitely. with that. All right, one tablespoon of chili powder, a uh, half teaspoon of cumin. Find the uh, cumin. Yes, yes, yes. Half of what now? Half teaspoon. So half that a probably teaspoon. is the tiny one. Is little, that a half little, teaspoon? That's a quarter. There's your half. There it is. All right, throw some uh, cumin in there. Cumin's coming. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. Cumin to America. There we, there we go. All right. Just add a little pinch left. There uh, we go. And keep that half teaspoon out. We're going to okay. do the thyme now. A little thyme. Morris Day and the thyme. Got time for thyme. Nope, that's oregano. All right. What'd you say now? Half a teaspoon. Half teaspoon. We're leaving that out. Okay. Whoop. Oh, yeah. A little, a little more. I like to add a little touch. All right. Another touch. half teaspoon of the oregano. Oregano. Beautiful. Man, you know, this must be uh, low budget. I hear you tried to get uh, Vanna White in here to do this. Didn't, uh, didn't work out? <laughs> no. Whoops. No, she's got bigger and better things. They only film 30 days a year, man. She's not that big. <laughs> All right, what do we um, got? It says cayenne, but I thought that was the same as chili powder, isn't no, it? No, sir. No? No. Did I not Cayenne's have very cayenne? spicy. I might not have the cayenne then. I assume that might have been the same thing. So we're gonna, gonna call an audible and skip the cayenne. Very mild chili, that's all right. <laughs> uh, another half teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. Love garlic powder, love garlic. Whoop. Yeah. That's pretty Ooh, good. Liberal garden. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then a uh, tablespoon, go back to the big one, of flour. Big dog of flour. There's a flour right here. They really should sell these by the tablespoon, you know? <laughs> Can you donate the rest of this bag, maybe? Yeah, that'll probably stay here for stay future here for cooking shows. Till next year's show. Are, are you like me where when I buy spices, they kind of stay in my spice cupboard for a long, long time. I was born in 88. By the 2000s, we still had spices in the <laughs> 80s. All right, so we got our spices all mixed up minus the cayenne. Uh, we're gonna set that aside because we're gonna end up tossing the chicken uh, in that. All right. All right. Beautiful. Now, let's open up those beans. All right. And we're gonna dump them in this pot over here. Beans going in. Might as well help you to speed things along. Oh no, I'll be all right. <laughs> the uh, recipe calls for two cups, and each one of these cans, I believe, it said it was a half cup. Each so can give is. Us each can is two cups, actually. Each can is two cups? I thought I read a half Almost cup. 16 ounces, 15 and a half. Oh, all right. Well. So wait, each can's two, so we already got two? Uh. <laughs> we, need, we need six? <laughs> in there. Might as well. Why did I misread that? I, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it happens, it happens. All right. So those are the white beans. We got those um, 
going to let those simmer. I think it calls for a little water. I'm going to dump a little water in there. All right, let's see. Here, we use an Owen TV mug. The Owen TV kitchen. Very uh, handy dandy. A lot of great, uh, great times in this kitchen, Joe. Yeah. This might be the best, though. <laughs> All right. So we got the uh, beans simmering over there. We got all the spices mixed. Now, let's see. You know what? Just because of the, the hazards of, of handling raw chicken, mm -hmm. I think we're going to do the veggies first before okay. we cut the, uh, the chicken. It's a good idea. So first thing, let's do the onion, and we're going to do celery. Need one stalk of this bad boy? One stalk of celery. All right, I'll take the rest home if you don't mind. Sure. I got a growing family. They need like a bachelor grocery store where I can just buy one of something. Yes. Tablespoon <laughs> of flour, one celery stalk. It's a good idea. I'm going to rinse this off real quick as well. So we're going to chop up this onion. I hope this onion isn't too big. That could overpower everything. Oh, I think no. This is an Maybe we'll add another size onion, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe we'll add one more celery too, just for the heck yeah. of it. We have so many beans, you know, we gotta really balance <laughs> it out right. a little bit. <laughs> All right. I thought you were a faster chopper. Haven't you been watching the Food Channel? I need a bigger for this? knife, I think, but oh, this does seem like a lot of onion, doesn't it? I think. Yeah, maybe half. Oh, yeah, I think I'm just going to do this part here. Grandma Johnson had very interesting taste. She liked a strong <laughs> chili. That's right. That looks like enough onion. We're going to toss this. All right, I'll grab that from you. That's something I'm not very good at. Um, but people more talented than me, they'd like to eyeball the ingredients. Yeah. So I'm just going to sort of do my best. and. So you're a by-the-book guy. Yeah, basically I try to stick to it because... Uh, you don't want to mess up a meal. No, you don't. You really don't. All right, so the veggies, um, we're going to heat up a tablespoon of oil in the skillet. All right. What do we got there? Some vegetable oil? Some vegetable oil just to put in the skillet. How much is going in there? Oops, what did I we lost some spoon. Uh, tablespoon, tablespoon vegetable so. oil. All right. Joe, you do a lot of cooking at your bachelor pad? Not as much as I would like. I do enjoy cooking. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple of specialty things I like. Chili is one of my favorites to make. Sure, sure. Uh, um, an easy dish is like a, a stuffed pasta shell with ricotta cheese. Whoa. Put it in a baking dish. Uh, sauce, tomato sauce over the top of that. Mozzarella sauce on, uh, or mozzarella cheese on top of that. Mm. Throw that. That's a quick, tasty meal. Yeah. Uh, with some garlic bread. That's a dish I like making. So I have a couple of dishes I enjoy making, um, but I don't cook as often as I'd like. Um, being a bachelor, it's kind of hard cooking for yourself. You right. know what I mean? Right. You end up making so much food, and then it sits in your fridge uh, right. for who knows how many days. So, all right, let's put that in the skillet. Oops, pick that up real quick. Just gonna fry up our uh, celery and onions here yeah. a little bit. All right, all right. Did you ever think about uh, publishing Grandma Johnson's cookbook? You got all these recipes <laughs> stuffed. What was no, it? Stuffed ravioli? Now get sued for copyright oh, infringement. Shells. Okay. You know, I do have some other uh, really amazing chili recipes. One I got from a, a guy who was taking part in a chili competition and competition chili is different than what you might be used to competition chili does not allow beans what? beans are considered filler so what? so i have a recipe for this competition chili that's basically beef like steak or something like that uh jalapenos seasonings and stuff and that's it it's like beef and broth interesting and it's outstanding and this yeah. guy has won competitions with it 
But I was a little surprised to find out that beans are not allowed in most official chili competitions. I, I, uh, I'd have to disagree on the, the filling there, you know. I think they provide nutrition. They're yeah. tasty. Um, that's interesting. Now, one thing, I, uh, I did a little research on chili, what its origins are. I don't know if you ever heard this. Uh, and if you Google this yourself and con contradict me, uh, that's fine. But what I read is that the origin of chili comes from wagon trains hmm. um, traveling across country, trying to carry beef and stuff with them. And as the wagon train continued, the um, beef would start to kind of go bad, kind yeah. of turn rancid. So the cooks had to conceal that flavor, conceal that taste, hence all the spicy seasonings and stuff. And that's where the origin of chili comes from. That's what I read. So oh, Thank God for rotten meat because it's good. <laughs> it. Where would we be today? Yeah. All right, so the recipe calls for three uh, chicken breasts. We can dice All that right. up if you want to dice that up into cubes. Yep, cubes you say? Yep. Dicing chicken. All right. And remember when handling chicken or raw eggs to always wash your hands thoroughly. Oh, yeah. When you're handling different things. I'm almost... Onion. Uh, I almost have a phobia about handling chicken and raw eggs. Oop. I want to make sure that you're always <laughs> you clean and washing your hands. Yep. Um, yep. You don't want to uh, spread germs. It could be germy. A little germy. Exactly. Are you uh, more of a beef guy than a chicken guy? Oh, you know, I try to have a good good variety right, yeah i uh don't eat as many hamburgers as i used to i'd say but <laughs> i enjoy them that's for sure i i crave chicken more than i crave beef yeah i enjoy a good steak occasionally i love sure. ribs things like that but i don't necessarily crave it um but chicken i i just can't seem to get enough chicken i like it in all its forms I uh, love it throwing some in a salad, you yeah. know. And oh, yeah. You name name it, if it's got chicken in it. It's versatile. It's uh, relatively cost-effective. It's yeah. uh, healthy. So, yeah, it's great. You can do a lot with it, that's for sure. So, basically, the recipe just says cube the chicken, which Cubing it you up. can define how you will. Cube as you please. Um, how's our veggies going? I'm going to kick up the heat a little bit on the veggies. If you want right. to stir that around a little bit, I'm going to wash my hands. Unless you want to do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Better not uh, spread the chicken juice too far. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling good though. I love onions. Let's trade places. All I'll right. come over here and kind of stir this around a little bit. Where are you at with onions? You uh, you a big onion fan? Uh, in moderation. Moderation? Yeah. Um, I like a little bit of onion on a pizza with some, you know, ham and pepperoni. There you go. Um, so I like it in moderation. How about garlic? Garlic. I enjoy garlic, but again, not overpowering. Okay. I love a good garlic bread. Yeah. Joe, you might not like my chili then. <laughs> Big garlic guy. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I cook oh, garlic, garlic, it's uh, your eyes water when you walk in the house. <laughs> so, excuse me. I have an uncle who's Italian, and my aunt would complain that at night when they're lying in bed together, he would reek of garlic, <laughs> just oozing from his pores. That's why me and the wife are in separate beds now. <laughs> just kidding. Like Lucy and Ricky? Yeah, yeah. We pushed ours together, though, finally. All right. Let that simmer in the frying pan here. Um, up some stuff. So once we saute that, then that's going to get added to the beans. And then we put a little bit more uh, oil in the skillet and cook the chicken. So while that's doing that, grab the bowl okay. with the spices in it. 
Bring you gonna do anything with that uh, broth? When do the chilies go in? Oh, the ch the broth I believe goes almost last. Okay. So it says add the chicken and beans to the chicken stock in chili. So yeah, that's gonna go in almost last. So what we're gonna do while that's uh, sauteing is we're going to add the chicken to the bowl of spices. Nice. So, and of course, we just washed our hands. We're going to have to touch the chicken again, but let's do that. Dump her in. Whoop. And then kind of toss it and mix it and try to coat that chicken with the spices. All right. Okay. Let's well, really doing that. Let's get in there, huh? Might as well not be shy about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Boy, that smells good, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Did you get that TV where the uh, the smell comes out of it? I heard about that, that. Where you, I saw images of somebody licking the TV screen. Oh, I didn't see that one. And I'm like, in this age of pandemics, someone thought it was a good idea to release a TV that emits tastes and aromas. And I don't know if that's such a great idea. At some points, I feel like we've gone too far. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know where that comes from, but... People are bored. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. All right. We didn't do the salt, did we? Salt, we did not. I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt. For me, when it comes to salt, less is more. Oh yeah? I have a very uh, sensitive uh, taste bud. Really? And uh, I, I get a lot of flavor um, in the meals that I eat and I rarely salt anything. Really? So, yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll throw some salt in here because the recipe calls for it, but uh, I'm not, I don't salt a lot. I My salt and pepper shakers at home last years. Really? Uh, I do not go through them quickly. Man, I have a salt lick in my nightstand because <laughs> I love salt so much. Get up in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, the, let's see here. Oh, So, me. let's throw that in with the beans. Okay. <clears throat> Uh oh, are we doing? Ah, oh, that's doing all right. Okay. So let's throw the veggies in with the beans. <coughs> all right, let's throw the chicken Toss it in. into the skillet. Brown that up just a little bit. All right. Yeah, coat that. You got to stay late and do the dishes or what? Ah, uh, we, we have people for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know you had that we kind of budget, budget, man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, how are we doing there? You think that's it's ready close. to It's close. It's very close. In? I've opened up these cans of broth, so when those are ready, we're going to add the chicken to the beans with the stock and the chiles. Let's open up the chiles. All right. And that's going to be the last of it, and then we let it simmer for a little while. Sounds good. Got to let it all uh, oh, awesome. combine, huh? Yep, yeah, that's what chili does. And you know, one thing I love about chili is I'm not a, a big fan of leftovers, but chili is an exception. I feel that each day that chili sits in the fridge and thickens and the flavors intermingle, chili gets better and better and better each day. Now talk to me um, about your toppings. You have uh, different toppings for day one versus day two. Is it same bowl every time? I what do don't you do? Normally, put toppings on chili. Um, if I get chili in a restaurant, I might have some sour cream on top. Okay. Maybe a little shredded cheese, but normally I just like the, the chili as is. Um, maybe a little uh, oyster crackers. Yeah. Um, if you like crackers with your chili. Uh, if not oyster crackers, maybe some nacho chips on the side. I like a little nacho chip on the side with my chilies. How you know, about you? I like uh, I like everything you just said. I also like um, Cheez-Its. 
Cheez-Its are good in Cheez chili. Yeah. Or I don't think Cheez-Its would work in the chicken chili, no. but I think uh, it would work in your standard uh, right. chili. Yeah. Or like the goldfish. The goldfish oh. kind of the same as the Cheez-Its, but yeah. Definitely. Never yeah. thought about that. Now, speaking, since, since we're on the topic of Cheez-Its, here's something you might not have ever tried. One of the first meals I ever made as a kid, I took a, <laughs> I took a home economics class in, I think it was middle school. Yeah. And um, the first meal that I ever made was grilled cheese and tomato soup. Uh-huh. And I still enjoy a grilled cheese and tomato soup today. Oh, yeah. Um, but I've discovered that in my tomato soup, which I make with milk, do you do milk or water? Uh, milk for yeah. sure. So when I make tomato soup with milk, the cracker of choice is the white cheddar Cheez-Its. Uh, white cheddar hey, Cheez-Its yeah. in tomato soup. Ah, I would pay for that. That might be good in this dish. Yeah. A white right. cheddar. You're right. A yeah. Parmesan even Cheez-It. Exactly. A lot of different Cheez-Its out there. I love Cheez-Its. Me too. Love Cheez-Its. You know what I eat Cheez-Its with sometimes? What's that? Just a nice jar of Jif. Peanut butter? Scoop and of peanut butter on the Cheez-It. Oh my gosh. Wow. You're learning all kinds of stuff here today, yes. folks. Yes, indeed. I think this is pretty close. All um, right. Let's pop the lid right, off I'm the chili. Set this, uh, somewhere, if you don't mind. Can I turn this off? Or? Uh, yes, you can turn that off now. We're done okay. sauteing. All right. Can now add that. Oh, Looking yeah. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know, I might need that thing back. <laughs> and while you have the lid off, oh, there you a can go. of chiles goes in there. Delish. And then I'm going to put both of these cans of broth in here. Now, this isn't supposed to be one cup or anything here, right? <laughs> I might not you mention it. <laughs> Let's see. So the recipe calls for two cups of chicken stock. And so the that's... can says so serving size, one can. So 14 ounces. So that's close. So you need like two ounces of that can. All right. So just top it off like yeah, that. Yeah, oh yeah. And actually, we might need that thing back to give it a stir again. Yeah. All right, mix that all up. All right. Thank Make you. sure we're not forgetting anything. You got your beans, you got your onions, celery, chicken, bunch of spices. That is looking good. Hold on to this pan here. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a pot of chili right here. This is gonna be tasty. So what we're going to do, I think we're going to take a little break, let this simmer for a few minutes, get it all mixed up. Maybe get an appetizer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Waiter. Um, <laughs> and when we're, we think it's ready to go, we're going to come back, give it a little taste, see how it turned up. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Have you ever thought of producing your own podcast? ONTV offers the facilities, equipment, and training to help you get your own podcast off the ground. Learn how to record your show and get it out to the world. Cost is $25 per person, which gives you access to ONTV's podcast room and equipment. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orientontv.org today. Welcome back, everybody. The time has come. The chili is cooked. It's been simmering for what, 15 minutes or so? 15 hours. <laughs> um, A bit I of breaking we're... news as well. Good news. Oh, yes. We did find the cayenne pepper. I did bring it. So we uh, threw in a half. Uh, a teaspoon of that into the mix. So I snuck a little more in. So if it's a little spicier, all right. I'm just kidding. I didn't. <laughs> all right. Now's the big reveal. Serve it up. Uh, dish it out. All right. You gonna go first, Joe? We'll do it at the same time. Okay. All right. By the way, I need to compliment his T-shirt. Uh, nice tribute to the late great 
Betty White and the Golden Girls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. R.I.P. Yep. Remarkable woman. Remarkable ladies. You know, B. Arthur's fantastic. But uh, Betty White, wonderful woman. All Ooh, right. it's hot. That's for sure. So as you can see, um, it doesn't look like your traditional chili. Um, but like I said, as, as it sits for a day or two in your fridge, and it'll thicken up over time. We also did um, not have a ladle. So there's... Yeah, so we didn't get as much broth as we normally would, but... Yep. Um, Let's give it a taste. I would, I right? would blow on that. That's gonna be real hot. <laughs> it's fresh out of the pot. I, I don't want you to, to lose your tongue here. Mm. Oh, beans are tender. I like it. Spice is good. Mm, good beans. Your thoughts? Beans are real good. Chicken's very good. Mm -hmm. I like the the dry rub beforehand, mm -hmm. the pan fry. Very good. The onions and the celery, nice and soft. Yeah. Just enough spice. Obviously, as you're simmering it, you could taste it. Add a little bit more spice if need be. Um, like I said, I'm more on flavor than spice. I think it's very flavorful. What would you do? Would you add more spice to it? I would add... Hmm. I like it. Yeah? I think it's good. Yeah, there's, a, there's like a hint of spice. It's not overpowering. You know what I enjoy is the crock pot with chili. So maybe mm -hmm. I would do the crock pot. Mm -hmm. Let it go a little longer, but... Um, you know, we don't have four hours. Yeah, we kind of rushed it a little kitchen. bit. Definitely you would let it I know simmer a little bit longer. We got Thick Tracy enough. and Ian out there trying to film their segments. So mm -hmm. We got to get moving here. That's right. So, there you go. White chicken chili, white beans. Um, fan favorite. Friends love it. Often request it. If I take it to a potluck, it's gone. The, it, I bring home an empty pot. So, um, something different. If you're a chili fan and you're just looking for something different to try, try the white bean chicken chili. Good for Sunday. Hope you're going to bring it to my house. There you go. Super Bowl Sunday. Ooh. Enjoy. Bon appetit. <laughs>